everyone, and welcome back to the 2019 Nancy Drew Games Mega Marathon! This is game number five, Nancy Drew, Danger on Deception Island! Welcome Whales to my latest rule. game, Danger on Deception Island! To so I'm going to play on Junior Detective Mode. Overview. When you're ready to start the game, choose uh, either Junior, junior detective or Senior mode. Now, detective. Junior level is really easy. Um, if you're a great detective, you might want to try doing Senior Detective Mode first. Oh, oh my. Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. George's friend, Katie Firestone, is expecting me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research into deep water parasitic growth. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited, but for some reason I feel on edge, like something's out of whack. Maybe it's because George and Beth arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans don't work out so well. Or maybe it's because we're about to dock at a place called Snake Horse Harbor. Kind of a creepy name for a town, don't you think? Or maybe it's because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. Anyway, we're here. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. It's just kind of gray. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. Every year's Nancy. I just always find it so funny that she's like, Snake Horse Harbor? What a creepy name! Deception Island? Oh, that's a totally normal name. Yeah, yeah. Katie? Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. And it's making me wonder when the last time Nancy's Great been timing, on vacation. Great timing, huh? I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel. And now it... Oh my gosh! What happened? Oh no! Her boat's been ruined! Someone tore the place apart! The engine's a mess, parts are missing, others are damaged. Why would somebody do this? Yeah, Ghost Dogs and Moon Lake, two, two, two games ago. That was a vacation. She went to visit her friend uh, Sally in Pennsylvania. Yeah, it was a working vacation. Uh, a bus man's holiday, as they call it. But uh, that, that should count as a vacation. She got a lot of downtime, exploring the woods. And we should probably talk to Katie. So Katie, what's up? Do you know who did this? Do you have any idea who did this? No. Look, you're on vacation. Just go relax. Or bike into town. Or, or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. Just always wear your life jacket. And don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. The fog we get around here is as thick as cotton. And never go out without a GPS. That's a global positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here. Anyway, your bunk's the empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? <laughs> okay, so yeah. Need any help? Nope, I'm all unpacked. Go on vacation, Nancy. Have a fun time. Relax. Here are the 50 sets of rules you have to follow on vacation. Try not to think about the culprit sneaking on the boat tonight and murdering us all. Oh, well now I'm scared. Oh, the Chaco Canyon. Yeah, Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. I guess Nancy's been visiting there. There's Nancy's ugly green shirt, um, which is discussed at the end of The Silent Spy. Nancy's mom's like, you remember that ugly green shirt? Apparently Nancy still wears that ugly green shirt. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Wonder what's in here? Hmm. Looks delicious. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like nothing. Let's make a sandwich and destroy Nancy. Okay, let's have a ketchup sandwich. Let's have some grape jelly. Let's have some tomatoes. And uh, let's have some jellyfish. Oh, oh, suddenly I don't feel so good. You gave yourself food poisoning? All I know is I made myself a sandwich and... Ugh, it didn't agree with me. The ideal sandwich is a visually pleasing combination of high quality carbohydrates and protein. Just keep it simple and you can't go wrong. Chef Sherwood says... Sorry guys, gotta go. So yeah, that is a game over sequence. Is an ice cream sandwich okay? Mm. Ice cream sandwich is okay, so let's make an ice cream sandwich for our friend Katie. Um, that way we'll be able to talk to her. I mean, we have to make her a sandwich for later on in the game. 
It looks like whoever damaged your engine did something to your faucet, too. It'd be great if you could fix it. The pipes are in the cabinet under the sink. Yeah, ice cream sandwiches won't kill you. Um, generally, when people talk about ice cream sandwiches, they, they mean something else. So where's the mayo? We have the expired mayo. That's ooh, anchovies. But the mayonnaise is old and disgusting. Expired 1994. Why does Katie still have that? This is old nasty cheese too. Does that is that is that disgusting cheese? It is okay. So like one groggy midnight snack, and suddenly Katie's Katie's poison because she ate the the jellyfish. All I know is I made myself a sandwich and ugh, it didn't agree with me. The ideal sandwich is a visually Why pleasing is the ice cream in the fridge? The ice cream is probably gonna melt in the Just fridge. That is a very go very home. good. Point. Chef Sherwood says. Sorry guys, gotta go. All right, one of the quicker deaths in the Nancy Drew series. Not the quickest death in the Nancy Drew series. I think the quickest one is Ghost Dogs in Moon Lake. And that's if you, uh, it, what you do is you step on the floorboards and die. And yeah, you can just do that within the first five seconds. At so least talk about a deadly midnight snack. All the here, I hope. Let's see if I can remember this puzzle. That doesn't go there. I think that was the right one, though. This is... Maybe this one. Huh, what piece goes here? There we go, that's it. So the color apparently has nothing to do with this puzzle. This is such a strange puzzle, but yeah. The idea is that you want to get the pipes to go around those things, but that is not at all clearly articulated. Yeah, none of the pipes go inside that thing. I guess that's not part of uh, what right. the culprit was going after. Here we go. That the looks pipes right. All fixed. Hooray! Oh, back on. Hmm, there was something under the pipes. Yeah, Nancy didn't need to rotate any of those uh, pipes. And this tells us about Whale World! Owned by Andy Jason. Don't just watch a whale. Experience it. Let's see, I think we can go up here. And Apparently the books are, the books are totally the books sabotaged too. Here. Must have been looking for something. Want me to put them away? If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's like the culprit literally left his calling card there. I like these fuzzy dice here, by the way. Those are those are cool. It's like it's like around the Millennium Falcon and Star Wars. Okay, what's the best way to get all these in here with no space left over? Let's see if I can solve this puzzle. Now I'll talk about a puzzle that needs the ability to right click to to move the pieces around. This one would totally be fantastic with that that ability. Let's see. Hmm, not that. Okay. Um, what pieces could go there above this one? A piece that's a much better fit. Here we go. These pieces are about the same height, so they clearly fit together. Not 100% sure why these books are glued together. It's just the way the puzzle works. Oh, I've got this one wrong. Okay. Yeah, because see, there's no books that. Uh, there are no books which uh, fit there. So um, perhaps it's something like this? looks great. Yeah, maybe the books are just grouped together by that's how much much weight Nancy could carry at a time. That's a logical explanation. It'd be nice if the game, you know, offered that up as an explanation. I, I, I could accept that. Okay, let's see. Work. Yes. 
Yes! I think we got it. One of the several solutions to the puzzle. Okay, we did it. So, solving the puzzle gives us this book about arboreal morphology, written by Dr. Irina Fredovich. Logical issues, microscopic tracheid analysis, microtome surfacing? And she's just got her glamour shot here at the back of the book. It's like, wow. Yeah, in the back of my book, it, it's funny, because in, in the back of my book, I just, I, it took me like 15 minutes. I went through all my pictures. I'm like, hmm, is there a picture that doesn't look totally awful? And I couldn't find one, so I went with the picture of me holding the baby. And I'm like, okay, people look at the cute okay, baby instead of me, microphone? and they'll say it's a cute sure, picture. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to be doing this for later on in the game. I'm just doing it now because why not? So what does raw meat look like? Too cool. It is too cool. Way too cool. Awesome. Awesome, bro. Let's see a feather. Too cool. Just way too cool. Yeah. Oh, and here's a computer. Ah, Play on my the computer. trusty laptop. Good thing I recharged my batteries. Found a business card for Andy Jason. This whale world place of his sounds kind of cool. Nancy! What? No! Nancy, you're supposed to be going to his place because he, his, his card was found at the scene of sabotage. Not, not, <laughs> not because of that. Aww. Oh, this is kind of a funny thing. So, um, Carson Drew is at home in driving Nancy crazy. Ah, my brand new anagram buster. If I come across letters that need unscrambling, I'll be all set. And there's a wheel, there's a portal. Basically, it tells us, oh no, there are, there are burglaries going here, and there's an orca stirring up trouble. And Holt Scotto is running for Harbor Master, trying to take down incumbent Nelson Metusiak in this fall's election. Fancy. Yeah, Carson Drew is Nancy's dad, yes? So let's see, we need to check the GPS, and the GPS is broken, so, yep. This note wasn't here before, was it? No, whoever my boat must have written it. Stop meddling, or else! Uh oh, these GPS doesn't look so hot. I'd better tell Katie her GPS is broken. You know, Nancy, for what it's worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. You think that could be why somebody did this to your boat? I did get pretty obnoxious. See, the thing is, this orca, this killer whale, showed up in the channel about a week ago and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. She was getting way too close to boats, so I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk paying a thousand dollar fine. That's what the meeting last night was about. So Katie is oh, trying to fix the motor without any tools or gloves? Well, no wonder she's having such a hard time fixing it. I take it not everyone agrees? The people that fish for a living sure don't. They're steering clear of the whale by taking the long way around the island to get out to sea which cost them time and fuel. Some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea. But the fishery service has the last word? They've asked me to monitor her physical condition while they study their data and decide what to do. But personally, I agree with the no boat zone. I also think that if she's found to be sick, she should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, not returned to her pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. Yeah, except I just shouted and screamed and I was terrible to everyone. Who's Andy Jason? Andy does whale watching tours too. If I had a dollar for every time he's come here trying to talk me into selling out to him, I wouldn't be fixing this engine. I'd be buying a new one. Do you want me to call the sheriff for you? Actually, I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The insurance company would raise my rates and I just can't afford that. Besides, I've got my very own private detective now. You. But you just told me I'm on vacation. Don't worry about the mystery. <laughs> Come on, Katie. Well, I'll just change your mind quickly. I'm afraid whoever tore up your boat also wrecked your GPS device. Oh, no. 
It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. I know. Bike to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt Scotto will let you borrow a GPS from him. See you in a bit. I'll be right here. Yeah, I mean, she's just playing around with the engine without gloves or anything. That's just how, just, just how she does it. Piece of paper inside. Maybe it's a message. <laughs> Sounds good. Here's our message. That's odd. We need to find all of the messages. All four of the messages. And you have to use your helmet every single time you go biking, or else Nancy dies. So let's go back to, uh, let, let's go to Whale World first, before going to the Hot Kettle Cafe. Here he is. Hi, Andy. Oh, let's see his. Let's see his hair. Hi there. Welcome. What can I do you for? Ah, oh, his curly afro. Are you Andy Jason? That's me. How'd you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm Nancy Drew. I'm a friend of Katie Firestone's. I saw your business card on her boat. Nice to meet you, Nancy. Any friend of Katie's is a friend of mine. It is funny how Nancy can find the cafe in Whale World without a GPS. Well, she did have the address written down that piece of, uh, on that card, but how does she find the Hot Kettle Cafe? Even though she keeps refusing to sell out to you? I must admit, that is a little frustrating. Maybe she just likes being in business for herself. I'm offering her the deal of a lifetime. She'd make more money, she'd have more free time. I mean, look at this place. I run a first-class operation. It's my mission to see that everyone who comes to Snake Horse Harbor leaves with a greater appreciation for marine mammals. And if I make a buck in the process, that's cool too. Why do you want to buy Katie out? She can't be taking that many customers away from you. I don't like her taking any customers away from me. And frankly, with this whale doing its orphan thing out there, I'm losing a lot of customers to her. Isn't the whale just as good for your business as it is for hers? Katie convinced the fishery service that she should be allowed to monitor the orca's condition. Which means she can get right up next to the whale while my boat has to stay away. And she takes passengers with her? That's crazy! Katie takes passengers with her when she checks on the whale? Paying passengers! As many as she can safely fit! Yeah, I mean, wow, I'm surprised we don't have a bunch of passengers, like, at her boat right now demanding tours, considering she can get that close to an orca. What do you think should be done with the orca out there? Nothing. I think people should just leave it alone. I mean, why do we humans always think we know best? We can barely deal with ourselves, let alone a whole other species. Someone ransacked Katie's boat while she was in town this morning. Made a real mess. Hmm. Wonder if it's related to those burglaries. This actually looked more like vandalism. Maybe Katie came back before the thief could get around to stealing anything. Well, no, because I was there when Katie came back, and the thief thief was nowhere in the area. What kind of stuff was stolen in those other burglaries? Food, tools, clothing, electronics. There was no sign of forced entry, no trace of who did it. Sheriff's still scratching his head. Whoever ransacked Katie's boat tore a bunch of parts out of her engine. It's like they wanted to make sure she couldn't go anywhere for a while. That's too bad. In a way, it's kind of good. I mean, for you at least. Very true. As long as her boat's out of commission, I'll get all her customers. Yeah, Nancy, that's a very... <laughs> Nancy is trying very hard to get him to, like, say something incriminating there. Thanks for your time. Have a good one. All right, so that's Andy. He thinks whales rule. I do like it says, get a free keychain um, if you buy his $30 tour. Hmm. And let's see, do I have to, like, check this out? Yeah. Looks like I need a key card to play. I need to see that there's a key card, and then I can ask him about key cards. Hi, Nancy. I'd like to play the games in your center, but it looks like I need some kind of key card. Here you go. This will activate all the games. It will also keep track of what games you've won, and it'll let you play all the games as many times as you want. Wow, Andy's thumb here. It looks kind of wide. It's wider than my thumb in any case. Thanks for your time. Whales rule! Wow, that's a beautiful... Interesting! Yeah, that's something we can look at. This is kind of cool. This is really cool looking, even though we can't interact with it. I like it. Miss, please don't touch that. Please don't call me miss. 
wanted to play with it. It costs, like, half as much as your tour. Okay, so Whale World, we're gonna play the Whale World. Whale's Rule! He does not say Whale's Rule, he's supposed to say that. Okay, so this is never a dull moment where we play. So what you need to do is eat fish and not die like that. And when you reach some score, then you live. I mean, then you win. Oh, wow. I'm terrible at that. Oh, hey, there's a... There's just a giant, uh, oh, what do you call it, one of those underwater mines? It's like Nancy Drew, uh, White Wolf of Icicle Creek. All sorts of dangerous things in this underwater area. Uh -oh. oh no, and there's uh -oh. a torpedo. Oh, I had no chance. You saw that, you saw that, right? I, I, I hit the torpedo. That's because I didn't get to dodge before the game threw me back into it. Yeah, the muscles, the muscles on Andy's shirt look kind of fake. It's like he tries to stuff his shirt full of toilet paper to make it seem like he's got more muscles than he actually does. And he's not fooling anybody. Oh, and I, I died. Why is there toxic waste everywhere? I don't know. And there's another mine. I like how that one fish is totally on, just riding on the edge of the whale, trying to get protection. Ah. Okay, so we got never a dull moment, so now we need to swim to freedom! Um, that's the name for the porpoise? No. Uh, swim the fastest. Gray whale? Oh. Um, they're extremely smart. Orcas are called killer whales because they kill and eat other whales. I got one question right. Blains have two blow holes. Minks? Uh, triangle? The diet of baleen whales. Small fish and plankton? All of them! I'm just guessing. Whenever there's an all of them, it generally means it's all of them. Orcas are, um... They have markings on their... Bellies? Uh, a baleen whale consumes food by giant mouthfuls, because they don't have teeth. Orcas travel in pots. Yay! Okay, so you answered all these trivia games. That's the trivia question. You can't read all this trivia stuff. From Flipper to Free Willy, the entertainment media is full of examples of how intelligent cetaceans are. The military's been using whales and dolphins for decades, using them to spy on the enemy and blow them up. Wow. Uh, wow. Really, military? You're using whales as weapons? Whaled weapons. Oh, I remember this puzzle. Throughout the center, you've been able to hear the this sounds different cetaceans make. So what animal makes this sound? Nope. It's not a doll's porpoise. Is that the gray whale, maybe? Nope. It's just that these are very long ones to hear. Nope. That's the humpback whale, everybody everybody sing humpback. <laughs> Porpoise. 
porpoise? Nope. Oh. Mink? Yes. That's the killer whale. Because they reuse that sound effect at the end of the game, that's how I know. Is this the porpoise? So then this must be the gray whale. And the number two must be the humpback. That's somebody having stomach pain? Yes. Yeah. And then finally, we have the Feeding Frenzy. I believe this is one of the differences between Junior Mode and Senior Mode. You have to score more points on Senior Mode, maybe? Yeah. Are there slightly faster yeah. on Senior Mode? Yeah. Both of those would be yeah. acceptable ways to make yeah. Senior Mode more difficult. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I'm saying, oh, yeah. they would be more acceptable. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm the acceptability yeah. place. Yay! Yum! 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 And now that we've solved all four things, we can spin and win a t-shirt! A caddy cap! Uh, spin again. T-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirt. I won the whale watching tour! Alright! Oh, yeah. I'm surprised that Andy isn't there to make sure she didn't cheat. Like, she just moves the, the wheel over one, one spot to get the tour. Yeah, Nancy totally could have cheated on this spin. And that definitely, that fish game is definitely based on, yeah, whack-a-mole. That's basically what it's based on, yeah. Hi, Nancy. That boat in a bottle you have is fascinating. It was made by one of the first non-Native Americans to settle here, a guy named Benjamin Hawkins. I bought it from this lady who kind of went bonkers after her husband died. Yeah, Andy talks about losing his customers. Nancy's clearly the only customer here today. Was Benjamin Hawkins a sailor? This historian who was in here once said he was pretty sure that was a model of a pirate ship. So now I tell people Hawkins was a pirate, but like most of the settlers around here, he was probably just a farmer. Wow, you're just making up stories. Wow, way to go, Andy. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Oh, come on, you need Hi, to Nancy. say whales rule. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Hi, He's Nancy. Gotta say whales rule sometime. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. No. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for your time. Drop by again. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. He's never gonna say whales. Hi, rule, Nancy. Is he? Okay, let's just. I want a talk free whale this. watching tour. Well, congratulations. I'll give you an exclusive tour. Just be you and me. Sounds great! Every three hours, 15 passengers per tour. So this is kind of cool. An extreme view map! Nancy checks the map rather than checking out on the animals. Hey, it's a flying bird! Oh! Look at all! Oh, it's a sea lion and a sea otter! There's the orca. Thank you for the great tour and for letting me use your camera. My pleasure. You've got to love Nancy. It's like, oh, this was a private tour. Just you and me, Andy. It's kind of creepy that it's just the two of them. What happened to all the other customers? Thanks for your time. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for your time. Whales rule! Ah, we got it! He said whales rule! He did it! Okay, we have won the game. Basically, that that's all what we that's all we really needed out of this game was whales to rule. Woo! So how is she gonna get the photos off of his camera? Good question. Maybe he just just maybe she just emails it to herself. And let's see, uh, let's talk to Holtz. Well, well, looks like Snake Horse Harbor's got itself a newcomer. I'm visiting Katie Firestone. My name's Nancy Drew. Well, now, why would you want to do a thing like that? 
call myself Nancy Drew? Or visit Katie Firestone? Well, you're not one of them save the whale and uh, heck with everybody else crusader types like she is, are you? Is that what you think Katie is? Her true colors came out real clear last night. Us fishermen don't count. All that matters is rescuing that poor precious orca out there. To heck with people trying to make a living. Of course, it's the way she makes her living being hurt by that whale. Why, no. Her business is booming. Now, ain't that the oddest thing? Yeah, if, if Nancy gives Andy her email address so he can send her the whale pictures, she's just going to get spammed for ads for Whale World. Poor, poor Nancy. She's back at the boat right now trying to fix her engine. Somebody vandalized it. She ticked off a lot of people last night. That's what she gets for being so meddlesome. Anyway, welcome to Snake Horse Harbor, home of Cadborosaurus. That's how this place got its name, you know. Who's Cadborosaurus? Well, that's the sea monster Native Americans used to see out in the channel ever so often. Called it the Snake Horse. Had the head of a horse and the body of a giant snake. People on Vancouver Island started calling it Cadborosaurus after it or one of its relatives was seen a couple of times at Cadbora Bay. They call it Caddy for short. Yeah, so uh, that's why this is called Snake Horse Harbor. It's because of a legendary creature called Caddy. Is it a friendly sea monster? Back in the late 1800s, he took the rap for a lot of hoodoo around here. Fog would roll in at night and men would just vanish. It was a snake horse, people would say. <laughs> Little did they know. Why do you think they vanished? Well, they'd been Shanghai. See, a bunch of establishments in town had secret panels built right into the walls. Guy'd be having a drink one minute, next minute he'd be clobbered over the head, whisked into a secret passageway, and taken out to a ship waiting in the harbor. But he'd wake up on the high seas and discover that if he wanted to survive, he'd better do what the captain ordered. No matter what he was before, he was now a sailor. It was a cheap way for captains to get crews back then, and an easy way for some of the town's citizens, citizens to make, make money. money. Uh, okay, so, uh, all important information that he told us. Did you say you were a fisherman? Fourth generation. I've fished every ocean for just about every fish you can make money fishing for. Lived here for the last 11 years. How often do you go fishing? Every day. Only reason I'm not out there right now is because I've been in and out of campaign meetings since 8 this morning. You're running for office? I think it's high time people around here started doing what makes sense, instead of doing what's politically correct all the time. Harbor Master we got now bends over backwards so far for the environmentalists, it's a wonder he can still walk upright. Okay, so Holt wants to destroy the environment and punch the Harbor Master in his face. Um, good luck winning that election. Whoever trashed Katie's boat also ruined her GPS. Oh, now that's a shame. She seemed to think you'd let me borrow one of yours. I'll let you borrow one, sure. I got a spare right here in my duffel. You know what else I got in my duffel? This is creepy. That is a creepy way to start a sentence. Why am I getting the feeling I'm not going to like this? This is a little seamanship quiz I whipped up. I'm thinking about making people pass it before they're allowed to rent any kind of watercraft once I become harbor master. Here. The idea is to cut down on having to rescue people who got no business being out on the water in the first place. Trouble is, nobody's actually taken it yet. I need a guinea pig. You mean, if I take the quiz, you'll let me borrow the GPS? If you pass the quiz, the GPS is yours. You'll need that container for the last question. See you around. Watch out for Caddy. Yeah. Okay, so the sun always sets in the that west. That looks right. It was 138.83? Huh. Oh, that's not a period. Huh. 138.83. Huh. I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head. Okay. Well, Nancy Drew quizzes on Deception Island. Clam chowder is delicious. What can I get for you, Nancy? Since we haven't met, there's only one way you could know my name. On the day my Aunt Iris turned this place over to me, she said, Jenna, you're about to become a real good listener. And darn if she wasn't right. 138.43. Thank you, everyone. How long ago was that? Aunt Iris left it to me three years ago. It's been in the Dublin family since the day it was built, which was back in, like, 1866 or something. So, you're visiting Katie Firestone. My condolences. Everyone in this game is just so open about how much they hate other people. 
What do you mean? Me and her don't see eye to eye on a couple of things. What kind of things? That orca out there should be rejoined with her pod as soon as possible. Period. End of story. No matter what Miss Fancy Schmancy science degree says, other people may be bamboozled by all her talk of data charts and field tests and monitoring whatnots, but not me. The only thing she wants is to get that whale into an aquarium. It wouldn't surprise me if Katie's been secretly feeding it. Which is against the law, by the way. And you know what else? It wouldn't surprise me if she trashed her own boat because she knew that after that Seriously, meeting last night, down, everybody Jenna. would assume that Holt did it and not want to vote for him. I got an idea. Let's change the subject. She just, just goes off uh, on Katie. Like, everyone hates Katie so much in this game. Does Andy Jason ever come in here? Everybody comes in here. Know how some people can't go a day without coffee? People around here can't go a day without a bowl of my clam chowder. In fact, if you ever want a free sample, just say the word. Yeah, so everybody, we've got Jenna the eavesdropper, Holt, who is the creepy pirate who wants to show off his duffel to everyone. Andy's got his fake muscles and his tours, where he just goes with tour all by himself. It's, it's just, it's just craziness. Is Andy Jason in here now by any chance? Actually, he only comes in once or twice a week says he's too busy. Of course, the reason he's so busy is because he's too cheap to hire another person to help him run the place. Kind of surprised me when I heard he was trying to buy Katie Firestone out. Must have something up his sleeves, all I can figure. No, maybe he tried to take Katie on one of his personal private tours too, and Katie just said no, and that's why he hates Katie so much. He can't buy her love or her business. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but it's nice to meet you, and I hate Katie! Arr, arr. What do you know about the shanghaiing that used to go on around here? It never went on, that's what I know. Shoving grown men into passageways and carting them off to ships never to be seen again? It's just a big, colorful, tall tale. Never yeah. happened. <laughs> You're staying with Katie, let me just rant about her for ten minutes. Okay, so let's try the clam chowder. She will give me infinite clam chowder. Think I could try a bowl of your clam chowder? Coming right up. Next one will be on the house, too. So, that's actually really good, I like about her. Hmm. I mean, mm, I, I like her. She gets me free delicious. food. That was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Later, Gator. And both of them talked about Shanghaiing. It's very important to the story. Each flag stands for a letter of the alphabet, and so do those words. Interesting. Oh, I was forced to remember this in like 7th or 8th grade. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Epsilon. No, 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 no. It's not Delta, Epsilon. It's, uh... Uh, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, Lima Bean, what Limousine, is this card uh, name? Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, walls, Romeo, um, Sierra, Tango, Umbrella, maybe? It's weird, because that flag game was in Haunted Carousel, right? The flag game would work so much better in this one. Um, where was I? Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Umbrella, Violin, maybe? Uh, whiskey, Whiskey, yeah. And then, um, yeah, F would be Foxtrot. Yeah, I said that already. It's Whiskey, then there's Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, and Zulu. So we're trying to make, um... Yeah, totally useless thing for them to, to make us memorize in 7th or 8th grade. Although it did teach us how I to memorize useless blood. information, so I mean, it's always good to be able to memorize, to know how to memorize things. What did I miss? It was Hotel, that's it. Golf Hotel India. And then Zulu Whiskey. Victor is Victor, you uniform. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's a military code, but I'm not joining the military anytime soon. Hey, Jenna, it's good to let you visit. Boy, I do miss that clam chowder, and you too, Kim. P.S. Send me the recipe. So that's the Atlantic hearing. Even though we're in the Pacific, we're going to... I think that's actually a trigger for something here. Yeah, the puzzle requires 
Safari's gonna make the world flush with every single suit. Yuck! I'm not picking them up. So it was 1 to 83, 43. Yeah. 138. Perfect! So how did they figure out that number? That's very... Good! ...strange, I think. I don't know how they came up with that. Yes! It's because it's not a round number, and this means vote for Bolt. Correct! The North Star is part of the Big Dipper. Not... ...the Little Dipper? Am I smart or what? Yay! A shooter is a boat with two masts. Very good! What is the name of the knot below? Wrong. 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 Yeah, I have no idea what the name of that knot is. What kind of knot is it? Um... Uh, sailor? Nope. 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 Now I guess I'll have to look that up legitimately then, because I can't figure it out my own. Usually, I already have some rocks. Fisherman knot? A bend? Perfect! That should do it. I have to bring him a male dungeness crab? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, everyone. And we need to bring him a male dungeness crab. S.S. Maybe this broke off from a ship. Um, that's a female. The male crab has, um, a thinner middle part. A little circular part. Yeah, see, like this, how it's a big circle. I guess it's not at all a circle. I guess it's more like an arch. Anyway, um, uh, the males have the smaller... I already have some... I don't really see how, you know, recognizing Dungeness crabs proves that you should be able to handle the water. But I guess I'm wrong. So what is Hulk going to do with uh, the male crab? I don't know, it's just going to stay in his duffel all day long. Here we go, we found it, see? So now that's not a big wide circle, that's a, that's a little thin one. So we have the male crab. Hooray! And I do believe we can knock this There's off the rock. Bottom, but it's stuck on those rocks. So let's go here, let's do angle four middle. So like this rock has a different solution from this rock, different from that rock. That would be the worst. Uh, let's try middle angle high power. That looks kind of good. Cool. Middle angle middle power. Middle angle low power. Nope. So middle angle is definitely not it. I already have some rocks. Try number two with uh, low power. That's nothing. Maybe these are some heavy rocks. Ooh, that looked really good. That got really close. Oh no! Like she's got this big crab basket. I already have some put, the, put them in the, the basket with the crab. Alright, let's try angle one high power. We did it! Angle one high power! And it's a rosebud 
message. Rosebud. And Holt's gonna yell at me if I touch this. What do you think you're doing? Those signs over there say no trespassing, which means keep out. Which means you, girly. Girly? Leave. But I just... Now. I'm an angry pirate. Okay, so Holt just kicks us out. He doesn't like us. It's very sad. And uh, let's go back to the Hot Kettle Cafe. How did Holt get there? I don't know how he got there so quickly. Throw the rocks at Holt. That would be mean. That would be mean of Nancy to do. <laughs> you again? You were right to yell at me up there at the lighthouse. No, you weren't. So what do you want? No, you weren't. I've got a male crab, I think. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Just ace the rest of the quiz and you'll be home free. I'll take care of the crab for you. I finished that seamanship quiz. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Congratulations. Here's your GPS. Just turn around and follow the instructions. I'll take care of the crab for you. Great. Thank you. I'll take care of that crab for you. Like, what is he doing with that crab, though? See you around. Vote for Holt. Spread the word. It's very strange. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? I found a bottle floating in the water with a strange message inside. Most, if not all, the notes you find in bottles around here were put there by Hilda Swenson. She was this lady who retired here with her husband about 20 years ago. They made a ton of money in Hollywood as writer-producers and just wanted to enjoy life. Wonderful people. Very active. In fact, Hilda was mayor for eight years. But then, out of the blue, her husband died. They'd been a team for so long that, well, she pretty much died then too. So this was the person Andy Jason was talking about when he said, Oh, she went crazy! It was Hilda. What do you mean? She just kind of lost it. Started talking to walls and doing bizarre things until one day she rode to the island across the channel that she and her husband owned and never came back. And now she uses notes in bottles to communicate with people? Trouble is, nobody can understand what she's trying to say. All she ever writes is letters and numbers and that one word. Rosebud. I leave a couple of bags of groceries outside her cabin every week, and sometimes I can see her inside. But whenever I try to talk to her, she won't answer. I'm surprised nobody besides Nancy was able to figure this out. It's clear that she's writing coordinates, right? Did she ever leave anything behind that might help decode her messages? She left everything behind. Problem is, it's all been sold, given away, or thrown out. We'll never know what's going on in that mind of hers. I guess we'll never know. You know, your clam chowder really is awesome. Say no more. Next one will be on the house, too. Mmm. Mmm. That was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Ain't that the truth? <coughs> yeah, so she just gives free groceries to Hilda, apparently. <laughs> she just gives free food to everyone. So let's see, let's try to get this one on, um... Yeah. We call them clubs. Clubs, that's what we call those. Clovers? So one of these jacks has to turn into a queen. I made a royal flush. Woo! I did it. Okay. And uh, the third one goes over here. I think this one is uh, this one is diamonds. I made a royal flush. Hooray! Go to Whale World to see if there's anything to do there. I don't think there is, but uh, we'll just check anyway, and then we'll go back to Katie's and continue with uh, solving puzzles. We're basically gonna do the GPS thing challenge here. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for your time. Drop by again. Well, we've got nothing to talk to him about now anymore. It's like, oh, we talked to you about the one thing, so never again. So here's something interesting. Uh, do you know, um, for most Nancy Drew games, the save files are unique, but this game shares a save file with uh, the next game in the series, which is Secret of Shadow Ranch. So what you can do is take your Secret of Shadow Ranch save file and open it here, uh, you know, load, the, load a Shadow Ranch game in this game. So when that happens, 
all the inventory items, you get you get random inventory items. The way it works is each inventory item is given a number. So like inventory item number one in that game turns into inventory item number one in this game. So that's something cool you can do just to glitch the game and start off with some inventory items. Let's you skip ahead to some moments, but even if you start off with the GPS, uh, you still have to collect all these papers. Yeah, kind of a crazy glitch, I would say. I wasn't the one who found that out. Somebody, somebody pointed it out to me, and I, I was just, why are you, why are you even doing that? Try that on later. Uh, you know, I'll try that on. I can try saving my game now. I don't think it's gonna work. Maybe the messages are coordinates. Let me get these coordinates down first, shall I? So it's north 48 42 517. No signal. Seven, and then the other one was West one two three. West one two three. Oh eight six one five. Oh eight six one five. And we just created a waypoint. So I'm going to save my game here, and then let's try out that random glitch. Let's see if it actually works, or if I'm just misremembering. Hide my image, back to recording. So let's see if that glitch actually works. I just moved the files, the save files, from uh, the one folder to the other. And let's see, let's go with cooking. So if I try to load cooking, welcome to my latest case. I've Danger got on these, Deception uh, Island. To learn how to play, items. choose gameplay. Let's see, what if I load Shadow? Welcome to my latest that case. Game Danger on Deception bucket. Island. To learn how to play, choose. Uh, obviously, I don't know off the top of my head what was inside these save files. What, what, what Welcome items to my I had. latest case. But see, yeah, on I can, you can start Island. the game with the GPS. You can play, start the game with this. Oh, when wow. you're ready you can to start, start the game, the game with all of these either items. Junior or senior detective. So this would obviously be very good and help you cheat your way to victory. But I have not explored it. I have not. Um, I've never. Welcome to my latest Ooh, case. Danger great. on Deception Island. To learn how to play, choose Gameplay Overview. When you're ready to start the game, choose either June. Dear Ned, here I am on a- Yeah, so this would allow you to start the game with all these cool items and basically skip a lot of the game. Cool. That's nice. Um, let's see. Katie? I don't want to see these Hi, long opening you must scenes be Nancy. again. Can I'm I go Katie back to Firestone. where I was? Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. Oh well. Great timing, huh? I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel, and now it... Oh my gosh, what happened? Someone tore the place apart. The engine's a mess, parts are missing, others are damaged. Why would somebody do this? Are you gonna be able to fix it? I better be able to. I can't afford to pay someone else to do oh, well. it, and if I end up having yeah, to replace Yeah, okay, we'll just have to watch this entire thing again. Anyway, that's how that you? glitch Look, works. That's how vacation. you can start this just game with a bunch of items or in your bike inventory. Into town. Or take and then my you can solve out. puzzles at the end of the dock. Uh, just very, always very wear your life jacket, and don't go past the channel I don't know how, and if the fog starts how, how much time it would save, but it's got to save you some time in beating this game. And never go out without a GPS. That's a global positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here anyway. Way Here bunks the, the empty one the below. Why don't you go is. unpack? So let's get back to where we were with Danger on Deception Island. I was over here trying to get to that that 
beach. I've never been to this beach before. Yes, you have not. what somebody says. Somebody knows. Somebody knows the solution to that puzzle. So yeah, B-U-D is those ones. Let's see. Check out the Argolfumpf walkthrough. What does Argolfumpf have to say? Oh, I don't know. Ah, okay, we really really will have to go back to the hotel and look that up. Not the hotel. The red with the yellow cross is R. Oh no! It's okay, I'm already back. Yeah, too bad Nancy can't look that up on her phone. Oh, when you say look it up on your phone, you mean my phone, not Nancy's phone. That would have made a lot of sense, yes. I'll just get the picture here. Besides, we can talk to Bolt about the, the fish, unless I'm mistaken. So this is where we learn about the crabs. I've got it saved, I should be able to solve the puzzle. Yeah, so the fish Nancy saw was Atlantic Herring. Um, apparently I double clicked so we didn't get to hear Nancy say that, but that's what she said. You again? I'm pretty sure I saw a couple of dead Atlantic Herring on the beach earlier today. Is that possible? Nope. You may have seen Pacific Herring, but not Atlantic Herring. No way. But they matched the picture I saw on that postcard over there perfectly. Because Atlantic Herring are found only in the Atlantic. Trust me, I spent five years fishing for them. We'd catch them by the hundreds, freeze them, and sell them to aquariums and such. To aquariums? You mean to feed to other fish? Or to sea mammals? Of course! What else would they do with them? Bring them back to life and put them on exhibit? Look, I don't know how it is where you're from, but up here seeing two dead fish on a beach isn't exactly front page news. Let it go. Did you know Hilda Swenson? Sure did. She even crewed for me a couple of times. There she was, this itty bitty lady in her 60s hauling in nets. Did it for the sheer love of adventure. She was quite a gal. See you around. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so Holt just does not care. He would make a great harbor master. No, no, he would not. He would be a terrible little harbor master. That does sound like useful information, but should be on his quiz. So apparently there is like a scene of us checking out the, the rotted fish. Let's see if there is in fact a scene of that in this game. Looks like whatever's in here is starting to do frost. It's just starting to defrost. It hasn't defrosted yet. What's up? Let's do another uh, storyline here, which is the I piece found of this wood. piece of wood on the beach. There's something strange about it. What do you mean? Let's see it. Ouch! Those splinters are sharp. That is odd. It looks like it's been in the water a long time. But if that were the case, those edges would be dull. That looks like it broke off of something just recently. That's exactly what I was thinking. Any idea where it came from? Could be off a cargo ship, I guess. But you know who you should ask? Casey Porterfield. He works at the Maritime Library in Port Townsend. You should give him a call. 
His number is 360-555-3095. He loves checking out stuff like this. Yeah, oh, okay, so she's got his phone number memorized. Sounds like Holt Scotto was one of the people who didn't care for what you had to say last night. He and I never see eye to eye. Now, if I were a fisherman, I'd be right as rain no matter what nonsense came out of my mouth. Fine harbor master he'd make. I saw a boat in a bottle at Andy Jason's place. He said it was made by a guy named Benjamin Hawkins. As a matter of fact, I've done some research on Hawkins. He settled here in the mid-1800s, lived in a cabin where the lighthouse is now. Why are you doing research on him? Some of the things I heard about him got my curiosity going. For instance, he apparently had a major feud going with some sea captain. Hawkins would see the guy sail on the horizon, grab his family and all his valuables, and go into hiding for days. What was the feud about? Nobody knew. Rumor had it that the sea captain was an ex-pirate, which might explain why Hawkins hid. But where he hid is still a mystery. I talked to Jenna Deblin when I was at the hot kettle. What nasty rumor is she spreading about me today? Ouch! Why would she spread rumors about you? She thinks I'm a know-it-all from the big city. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Are you a know-it-all from the big city? I don't even know if she's with the big... I don't know if she's from the big city. What was that? What was that sound? Was that the fish? No, that wasn't the fish. They're dead, obviously. I guess that was just Katie working. So what we need to do is... Uh, we need to go up here. And we need to look at... Uh, this... Let's see, can I take a sliver? One slice of wood. One glass slide. There. This is going to look so cool under the microscope. Let's have a look. Wow. Oh, Nancy doesn't say wow this time. Well, it's wow. Let's call Casey. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone suggested I give you a call. Katie who? Katie Firestone. Never heard of her. Oh. I know a marine biologist named Katie Firestone. Yes, that's her. I'm staying with her here in Snake Horse Harbor. Oh, well then what can I do for you? She said you might be able to help me identify the ship that this piece of plywood I found on the beach came from. How do you know it came from a ship? Because it says SS on it. The rest of the name is missing. Doesn't mean anything. Now if it said SS, which stands for steamship, that'd be different. Uh, actually, that is what it says. Oh, well then it came from a ship. Or should I say, shipwreck. What kind of wood is it? Plywood? You're about as much use as a beanie in a hurricane. Look, if you want me to tell you what shipwreck that wood came from, you're gonna have to tell me what kind of wood it is. But I have no idea. Well, you just get yourself a book on wood and figure it out. Maybe Katie has one. Soon as you do, call me back. I love checking out stuff like this. Okay, so Casey, that's Casey Porterfield, the uh, same voice actor as um, Andy Jason, that's Dr., uh, that's, that's Joan of Ansprechen, I believe his name is. This is Dr. Preduvicu. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew, and I'd like some help identifying this piece of wood I found. I'd be happy to assist. Do you have our mailing address? Well, that's the problem. I don't have time to send it to you. Would it be possible to identify it over the phone? Certainly. Just hold it up to the phone for a couple of seconds and I'll take a reading. I'm kidding, of course. I usually don't do this over the phone, but I'll give it a try. You will, however, need to take a look at your sample under a microscope. I already did that. And are you near the sample, in case you need mm -hmm. to refer back to it? Yep, I'm right by it. All right, we'll get started. Where did you find this wood? It's a piece of driftwood, probably used for a crate. Is the wood sample black, brown, or yellow? It's brownish. Brownish. Brown-brown or brown-reddish? Brown-brown. Does the sample have many holes, or just a couple, or none at all? Many. Okay, so you've got a hardwood that's brown-brown, and are there some holes that are big, and some that are small, or are they all the same size? They're all the same size. I was afraid of that. There are a lot of hardwoods that are diffuse porous, having many holes of the same size. Unfortunately, without seeing the sample, I can't really tell which it is. Please check your sample again. Goodbye. Wow. Okay, let's look again. 
I guess it was brown reddish. I got it wrong. Wood Labs, Irina speaking. Hi, this is Nancy Drew again. Do you think you could take another stab at identifying that wood sample for me? I'm sorry, but my policy is to limit free wood sample identifications to one per person. Could you please make an exception in my case? It's kind of an emergency. I'll tell you what. I'm doing a study on the side that focuses on problem solving. I'm collecting data by having people solve the puzzle that's on my website. If and when you solve it, I'll give you another free wood ID. Go to www.preduvichu.lab slash consult dot htm. Good luck! This is a life and death wood identification case. This is very important. I need to figure out. Okay, so it is her. This is me. Oh, she's got the same picture on her website. I guess that's like the only picture she has. So this is a slider puzzle. A rather simple slider puzzle. You have reached the desk of Dr. Irina Predovicu. I'm away from my desk, but we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Thank you. It's a very silly puzzle. And yeah, they use this picture for Henry Bollet's parents and Nancy Drew, uh, number 17. Legend of the Crystal Skull is the name of the game, right? I think that's it. This is Irina. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Could you try to identify that wood sample for me again? Is the wood sample black, brown, or yellow? Brownish. Brown brown or brown reddish? Brown reddish. Does the sample have many holes, just a couple, or none at all? Many. And are there some holes that are big and some that are small, or are they all the same size? They're all the same size. Okay. And the holes are really, really tiny, right? No, they're pretty sizable. Then you've got a tropical hardwood. I was assuming the sample was a North American wood. All right. Are there any distinguishable horizontal lines on the sample? Yes, there are horizontal lines. If this wood is used for creating, then it's probably Luan. It's fairly common in plywood, but it's a rainforest timber, so it's declining in popularity. Luan, all right. Thanks for your help. Glad to have been of service. Oh, we can call the Hardy Boys in this game, too. Huh. I know somebody wanted me to call Bess and George, so I'm going to do that. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I called before. About the driftwood? Never heard of you. Now, if you'd have said Nancy Drew... Yes, that's me, Nancy Drew, Katie Firestone's friend. So what kind of wood are we talking about here, Nancy? Yeah, if Nancy was holding the, the, the wood the other way around, they would be vertical lines, not horizontal ones. Luan. Well, if that driftwood did come from a cargo container that's part of a shipwreck, there's a good chance I can figure out which one. Call me back in an hour or so. You can identify a ship by what its cargo containers are made out of? Ever since the hobo spider got into the U.S. by laying eggs in the wood crating of ships coming from Europe, the feds have made sure that cargo ships keep real careful records. Of course, I'll be taking things like tides, currents, weather conditions, proximity to Snake Horse Harbor. I'll be taking all those factors into consideration, too. I really appreciate your doing this for me, Casey. And well, you should. Yeah, every time you fail that puzzle, you're forced to redo that slider puzzle for... for... Dr. Uh, Predivichu. So, if, Hello? if, if you hey mess guys, up over and over me. again, you have hey, to uh, the do the slider it's puzzle over and While over George again. While George picks up, I'm going to turn down the heat under my roux. Under your what? Hey, Nance. So, how's your vacation going? Fine. Except for the fact that just before I arrived, someone vandalized Katie's boat. What? Don't worry, we're both fine. The engine of the boat was damaged, but Katie's working on it. Why would somebody do something like that? Uh-oh. I bet it's got something to do with that orphan killer whale. You know about that? Katie told us about the whale when we called to tell her you were on your way. Someone vandalized Katie's boat because of a whale? Because of Katie's opinion as to what to do with the whale, which she expressed very loudly in front of a lot of people last night. Katie does have a mouth on her, especially when the subject is marine life. Did they find any fingerprints? Katie wouldn't let me call the sheriff. Why not? She said she was afraid her insurance company would raise her rates. Well, she doesn't have much money, I can tell you that. 
Uh-oh. Best, is that supposed to be smoking like that? Oh, no! Darn it! Darn what? My roux. It's ruined. Oh, no. She wrecked her roux. It's not funny, George. Yes, it is, Bess. What's a roux? A carefully heated mixture of flour and butter. I was going to use it to thicken my gumbo. Gumbo roux? Did you say gumbo? Rock shrimp gumbo. It was Chef Sherwood's main dish last night. She's hooked on this cooking show called Beasting for Fitness. Let me guess. It's hosted by a guy, and he's very cute. That happens to be true, but I watch it because I like his philosophy. Eat in moderation and eat only that which is made out of fresh ingredients and cooked with great skill, care, and judgment. What else have you cooked? Yesterday she cooked, or should I say ruined, crepes. They weren't ruined. I mean, you could still eat parts of them. Anyway, I want to hear what you're doing, Nance. Jenna Devlin went ballistic when I brought up the subject of Katie and the whale. What's her problem? I get the feeling she just basically doesn't like Katie very much. Sounds like a candidate for your suspect list to me. You know, Jenna Devlin may have her faults, but being a bad cook isn't one of them. What kind of stuff does she cook? She's famous for her clam chowder, which is outstanding. Well, don't just stand there. Get me the recipe. If you ran a cafe and had a great recipe for something, would you give it away to anyone who asked for it? I didn't say ask for it. I said get it. You're sneaky. Aunt Iris probably left it to her with instructions to keep it in a vault somewhere. Does Jenna own the cafe or just run it? She inherited it. The place has been in the Devlin family for centuries. Whoa. Buildings that old are usually haunted, you know. Oh boy. Here we go. Well, they are. I can't figure out if Andy Jason is friendly for real or if it's because he's basically a salesman. What does he sell? Whale watching tours. He keeps trying to talk Katie into selling her company to him and becoming his business partner. Think he wrecked her boat so she'd have to go into business with him? Could be. Katie is allowed to get right up next to the orca while he has to stay 300 feet away. He doesn't like that. I wouldn't trust him, Nan. Once a salesman, always a salesman. Remember my neighbor, Ray Olaf? He was a salesman, but he quit. Yeah, to go to work for a company that repossesses pets when people can't pay their vet bills. She's right. Don't trust him. Don't trust him at all. Holt Scotto caught me poking around the lighthouse and freaked. He all but chased me away with a stick. Why should he care if you poke around the lighthouse? Good question. The obvious answer is that he's hiding something. One should always be suspicious of a suspect. Right. I can't help but think it's a little weird that Katie didn't call the sheriff after her boat was vandalized. You think she's trying to hide something? I know she's your friend, George, but I just got the feeling she wasn't telling me everything. Well, it's not like she's my best friend or anything. But what would she be hiding? This one woman, Jenna Devlin, she suggested that Katie trashed her own boat in order to discredit Holt Scotto and keep him from becoming harbor master. So are you going to confront her? I don't really have anything to confront her with. Good, because as I recall, Katie doesn't do confrontation very well. My gosh, George. Is there anything else Nancy should know about this so-called friend of yours? Katie's fine. She just has a few edgy little quirks, that's all. Great. That's probably what they said about Lizzie Borden. I better get going. See ya. Hasta la pasta. Yeah, so George, apparently, I always thought that was interesting. George just makes it seem like Katie has a huge temper and attacks people. Kinda surprised we don't get to see the angry evil side of uh, Katie at all in this game. Okay, so attempt number two at solving this puzzle. Rosebud. Rosebud. So R O S E B. This is also. the weirdest story Okay, so I've what you want to do is figure out all those letters. It was ask JD, JD, HS, HS. So far, so good. AJ. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting there. Ta da! Ask. H S A J J D for Hilda's gift. Ask Holt, Andy, and Jenna for Hilda's gift. That was a lot of 
mom link for just two letters, yes. So, uh, this is gonna be the next major segment of the game, asking everybody for Hilda's gift. Congratulations, I hope you enjoyed finding this thing. I've got a secret, Send me so... something from the top of the lighthouse in Morse code? And, uh, what you want to send Something is, is fishy in Snake Morse Harbor. Nancy's cell phone. Oh yeah, no, we need to find all three of these gifts before we, uh, before we learn she wants Nancy's cell phone number. And then Nancy goes all the way here. So everybody got a gift except for, uh, except for Katie. Katie didn't get a gift. I guess, I guess poor, poor Katie was not friends with Hilda. Hi, Nancy. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you a present? She gave me the design I used to create the keychains I give away to everyone who goes on a Whale World Whale Watch. She was quite the graphic artist. Since I took your whale watching tour, I get a free keychain, right? Actually, I only give them to paying customers. Now, why did the term false advertising suddenly pop into my head? Okay, okay. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. All right, so we got the gift from him. Tren. Wonder what that means. So we get Tren from him, and then, uh, let's see, we gotta go to Jenna here. Let's see, Holt has a you again? chess puzzle, I think. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you something? So what if she did? Do you think I could see it? Tell you what. This chess problem I've been working on is giving me fits. Here, solve it for me, and I'll let you see what Hilda gave me. Feel free to look at the chess book in my duffel bag if you need help. Let me know when you're through. This tells you how poker works, in case you didn't know what a royal flush was. And here's the code for Lighthouse, 3475. So I've got to write that down, otherwise I'm going to forget. 3475. Okay, so what can White do in order to win this game? Um, well, we can guess. Is it piece Wrong. D1? Oh, okay. Wrong. The queen. Good. Okay, I'm moving the queen. Where am I moving the queen? The queen is this one. So maybe D7? Uh, Q6? Huh. No, it doesn't look like Q6 was one. Uh, wait, what was that? E7? People are suggesting it. People who actually yeah. know what chess is. So let's go with D7. Huh. And then C8. Huh. And then... Huh. F7, G8. Huh. This piece is the queen, Q. right? Yeah, that's Q. So let's see if it's something along the, the, the six. Correct! Queen moves to d6, so black would move here. Alright. And then... Perfect! Queen to c8. Oh. e8. Oh. Oh. Uh, d7. Oh. 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 Yeah, everybody everybody keeps saying that. Okay. Yes! There! Checkmate! Oh, queen. Okay. So that's... that's checkmate. Okay. I just don't know chess, so I'll just presume that makes complete sense, that puzzle solution. Done with that chess problem yet? 
check it out. Right as rain. And to keep up my end of the bargain, here's what Hilda gave me. Handles made of scrimshaw. She carved it herself. Never would tell me why she wrote one bum on it like that. Of course, this was after her husband died. Guess her mind was starting to go. Thanks for letting me see it. It's clearly obvious she wrote one bum because you are a bum and there is one of you. You are one fine bum, sir. See you around. Watch out for Caddy. Yeah, I don't know if I could vote for a guy who had trouble doing a checkmate when you were two moves away. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? You know, your clam chowder really is awesome. Say no more. Next one will be on the house, too. Mm. Yeah, basically, mm. the checkmate means that you're trying delicious. to corner uh, Here, let me the, get rid of that the, for you. your opponent's king into a place where the king cannot make a move without being immediately captured next turn. Did Hilda Swenson give you something? She made a necklace for me. Prettiest thing I own. I'd show it to you, but it's at my house. How did you know she gave me something? Let's just say that there may be a method to Hilda's madness after all. Do you think you could get it for me? Problem is, my home's across town and I'm real low on clams, which means I've got to go clamming before I can even think about doing anything else. But I really need to see that necklace. Okay, if you get the clams, I'll go get the necklace. You can put them in here. Fifteen ought to do it. That's the limit anyway. But you also need a permit. Andy Jason can issue you one. It's been fun talking to you. Back at ya. I have no idea what ethnicity Jenna is. She's been living here, her family has been here for centuries, they said. So maybe she's, uh, you know, a, a Native American. Yeah, yeah, I think they kind of went into, uh, uh, th didn't they mention when Washington was first settled by other people in this game at some point? Hi, Nancy. I need a clamming permit. Jenna said I could get one from you? Ordinarily you could, but permits mean paperwork, and I'm kind of busy right now. Of Course, if someone wanted to volunteer to help me... Oh, come on. So we need to do a chore for him to get the permit, so we can do a chore for Jenna, so we can do the chore for Hilda. You just got yourself a volunteer. Inside that box marked Caddy is a miniature of what our resident sea monster might look like in skeletal form. Assemble it for me, and I'll not only give you a permit, but I'll throw in a free clam tube. And remember, whales rule! Yeah. Like, do your job, Andy. Do your job. You can right click on puzzles in order, uh, right click on nah. pieces in order to rotate them. Hmm. 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 Oh, man, this is really difficult, isn't it? Bingo! Yay! Nah. That's nah. not it. Oh, uh, let's see. This was like the fin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got that nah. one. Nah. 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 You just have so many drawer hmm. runs in these Nancy Drew games. I'm just bad at them last nah. Sometimes. Okay. Mm. This has got to be the tail. Bingo! Let's do the tiny pieces here at the Bingo. end. Because that's that's my only thing. Nah. Nah. I can't believe he's charging $14.95 for mm. this. That is kind of crazy. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And he wouldn't let Nancy touch it either. Good. He's like, Miss... Don't touch that. Nah. Oh, yeah. I love how Nancy... Good. Nancy gives herself a verbal pat on the back every time she gets a piece in place. Hmm. She needs the encouragement. Hmm. 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 Maybe this piece here? Nah. Nah. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, maybe this is... Hmm. Those two pieces go together like that. That's got to be it. Nah. So then maybe this is the rest of the neck. Oh, oh, yeah. And then this goes here. Bingo. Oh, yeah. Nah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Good. 
And then this finally is here. Wow, am I a creative genius or what? You are such a creative genius, Nancy. So creative. So she snapped all the pieces together. I'm still not paying $14.95 for that. Hi, Nancy. I finished putting that display together. So you did. Caddy never looked better. Here's your permit, and here's your clam tube. Look for little holes in the sand. Sometimes water will squirt out of them. Anyway, center the tube over the hole, push it down into the sand, and pull. If you're quick enough, the clam will be in the sand that comes out of the tube. If not, try, try again. Thanks for your time. Have a good one. Whales rule! So, let me see if I can remember uh, the glitch. I think the glitch is to back away and go forward and back away and go forward from the puzzle. Uh, if you go over the limit, the game breaks and you have to start again. So actually, let's, let's save uh, before I try going over the limit with the glitch. had that puzzle before in other dancing games. Uh, the falling sleep light puzzle in uh, the final scene. Uh, the puffer fish puzzle in the game right before this one, actually. Let's see, Nancy can open this up, right? Looks like someone's been up here recently. Someone messy. That's Must today. be the culprit. Culprits are obviously circled. messy. Culprits are just, just very messy Looks people. Looks like the bulb is missing. rusted shut. And the bulb is missing. I don't have any message to send. That's terrible. light bulbs works, but I don't know which one. This one? It's actually going to require... Hopefully that's the right one, and then I don't have a lot of uh, going back and forth to check, because that would be that would be awful if I had to do all sorts of back and forth. It's rusted shut. That's right, I need some rust remover first. Mm, 
people are saying different guesses. Say the sixth one usually works, the third or fourth one. Yeah, it's rough, it's rough. Okay. It's okay, I think we got the correct solution. Nancy should just pick up the bag of light bulbs and, yeah, just take the entire box with her. Well, she can't carry three rocks with her. She's obviously not going to be able to carry uh, an entire box. Hi, Nancy. Oh, good, you got the clams. Let me take those from you. I'll take that clam tube off your hands, too. You'll never guess what happened. While I was home getting that necklace for you, somebody broke in here. The sheriff just left. What did the sheriff say? Nothing. He looked around, wrote down what was stolen, shook his head, and said he'd call me. What's weird is I'm not only missing food, like bread and eggs and stuff like that, but it looks like they also stole a bunch of tools and some boat parts. How'd they get in? Both doors were locked when I got here, and none of the windows were broken. It's like a ghost did it. You know, it's possible that the sheriff missed something. If you want to play detective, please be my guest. If you have any questions, just holler. That was a free clamming tube. Nancy didn't pay anything for that. I could have kept that as a souvenir. Nancy still has a bunch of random stuff in here. You think she would get rid of some of these items when she doesn't need them anymore? Like this? She's already gotten her will to her. Does she really need that? I guess it would be a cool souvenir though, yeah. Match pairs across all three screens! So as I recall, um, in senior mode you have a lot more matching across the three screens. Whereas in junior mode you have a lot more, uh, things matching on the exact same screen. I've sworn I had this lemon here. I'm so terrible at this puzzle. Yay. Yep, so on senior mode, there are some items, like I do an item from screen one, and I match it to an item on screen three. Looks like, yeah, we're, we're, we're playing on the easier mode. Hmm, let's see. Why is it that I'm just doing terribly at this? Okay, there we go. Muffin, muffin. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday. Let's see, the chicken leg was here. There's a carrot and egg was here. Oh yeah, we're making some progress. Okay, one more round. right next to each other, of course. I'm just being silly. Strawberry, okay, tomato, tomato, pear, pear. Almost done. Got it. Messages. Uh oh, uh, we want to explore first, right? Let's explore as well. So let me see. This is going to have to be hearts, right? Hearts is the only one we haven't done yet. Well, this game is just messing with us now. <laughs> Uh, Jack. Yeah, we did it. What was that? Yeah, so 
That necklace was the prettiest thing Jenna owns. Poor Jenna. I bet that's how those burglars got in here. I can't see a thing. I'm gonna need a flashlight. just stole a bunch Save of King. stuff from Save King. Wow. And boat parts. Why Why does she have a box just labeled boat tools and parts? Does she have a boat? Maybe. I won't let the lighthouse become a dark house written by Hilda Swenson. It's a fully functional mechanical pathway. Jenna, Jenna had never heard of it before. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Do you have a flashlight I could borrow? Sorry. You know, your clam chowder really is awesome. Say no more. Next one will be on the house, too. Mmm. Mmm. That was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Later, Gator. Later, Gator. So let's see. Back to Katie's boat. That will give us the, uh... Give us the headlamp. She'll give us the headlamp in exchange for a sandwich. So the sandwich we made forever ago. What's up? Would you by any chance we'll, have a we'll flashlight? I have here. a headlamp. I mean, I have one somewhere. I'm sorry, Nancy. I'm so hungry I can hardly see straight, let alone think straight. Would you like a sandwich? That would be awesome. Here's a sandwich for you. Great. Here you go. Mmm, I'm starving. That was fabulous. Thank you. Okay, you wanted my headlamp. Where's my headlamp? Oh my gosh. It was right here in the engine compartment the whole time. See you in a bit. Enjoy. Yeah, Nancy ate that. <laughs> ate that sandwich very, very quickly. Let's actually call Casey back. I was going to call the Hardy Boys too. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Any luck finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Sorry, can't talk now. I'm waiting for a real important call from Nancy Drew. Casey, that's me. I'm Nancy Drew. Oh, then I got some good news. You know the name of the shipwreck? The SS Whitechapel Dawn. Sank five years ago right there in the channel outside Snake Horse Harbor. About a mile and a half due northwest of the lighthouse. Really? I hear that channel up there's been pretty busy, what with that orphaned whale messing things up for the fishermen and all. Anyway, everything fits except one thing. I knew it was too good to be true. The Whitechapel Dawn went down in deep water. Real deep water. Too deep for currents to be carrying debris up from it, just not possible. What about volcanic activity? Maybe it sank on top of an undersea vent or something. I've been doing this type of research for 20 years, young lady. When I say something's not possible, it's not possible. Yet somehow a piece of wood from it washed ashore. What kind of ship was the Whitechapel Dawn? It was just a regular old freighter bound for San Francisco from Vancouver, British Columbia. Nothing unusual about it if you don't count the rumors. What rumors? How about the smuggling? Please, tell me everything. Nothing to tell. After it sank, some crew members said there was something unusual about the cargo it had been carrying. That's all. No specifics. Just rumors. How many people went down with the ship? Zero. Everybody managed to survive. Official cause was foul weather. But whenever a boat goes down in those parts, they always unofficially blame it on... Oh, what do they call that sea serpent up there? Caddy? No, thanks. Caddy! That's what they call it! Caddy! Anyway, this has been fun, young lady, but I need to get back to work. Uh, by the way, I just got done emailing you something. What? I said, I just got done emailing you something. Great, thanks. Well, goodbye, Casey. Goodbye, Caddy. I certainly hope he doesn't operate heavy machinery. Yeah, Caddy, he, he's a character. He's fun. I, Casey's a fun character. Let's see what the Hardy Boys are doing in this game, and then uh, no more phone calls? Hello? I Hi, guess. Frank. It's Nancy. Hey, Joe, lock her up and then get to a phone. It's Nancy. He's locking someone up? Goldie, she's not a someone. She's a something. Hey, Nancy. How's life in the Pacific Northwest? Well, someone ransacked Katie's boat just before I arrived. Wow, that's great. It is? No, it's not, Joe. Yes, it is. Not for Katie, of course. I mean for Nancy. 
She's got a mystery to solve. She's supposed to be on vacation? Crime never takes a vacation, Frank. Okay, so this is the game where they have the giant dog. Gotcha. What was that? That was Goldie. She's this dog we found. We're waiting for her owner to come get her. That's nice of you guys. Well, unfortunately, there's a problem. She eats a lot? She's as big as an SUV. Fully loaded. She's in the garage. I'm upstairs. That's how big her bark is, so you can imagine how big she is. Was there a reward out for her? That's the good news. We're talking triple digits. Wow. Enough about us. Let's hear what you've been up to, Nancy. Mm, yeah, let's not talk to them about... I, I guess we could talk to them about everything. The bulb for the signal lamp in the lighthouse is out. Any hints? Look around for some spares. There must be some around there somewhere. After all, it's a lighthouse. Andy Jason has a boat in a bottle that Katie says was made by a settler in the mid-1800s who would periodically and mysteriously disappear. Mysteriously? Whenever this ex-pirate would show up, Benjamin Hawkins, that was the settler's name, he'd vanish for days at a time. Nobody knows where he and his family hid. I know how he did it. How he did what? I know how he got the boat in the bottle. How? Can't tell you. I've been sworn to secrecy. But I can tell you this. It does not involve any kind of shrinking machine. Thanks, Joe. To get around on the water in Katie's kayak, I've been using a GPS. A global positioning system? Cool! If you have the coordinates for a specific place, you just enter them and it shows up on the display screen, right? That's right. In fact, I did just that and found a box someone buried on this secluded beach. You found a geocache. I hear that using GPS units to track down stuff that other people have hidden is a hobby for some people. That sounds cool. Sure does. In fact, a GPS would make a great gift, don't you think, Nancy? For, like, say, a big brother to give his little brother for, like, say, his upcoming birthday? That probably depends on the big brother. And on what the little brother has done for him lately. Always a catch. I've seen the gifts that Hilda gave Holt, Jenna, and Andy. Any hint as to what I should do now? Sometimes letters get scrambled into anagrams before they get assembled into words. Sometimes detectives have fancy laptops with fancy software that can unscramble them. That's very cute. Any hint as to how I can fix those shutters for the signal lamp up in the lighthouse? Be nice if you had some oil. A little tunnel vision would come in handy too. That now broken up picture all these on the hints. wall in the basement of the lighthouse has got me stumped. Any hints? The question is, are you looking at the front of that picture? Or the back? Think about it. Sound advice, if I ever heard it. Talk to you later. Be careful. And have fun. I forgot to check the anagram thing in uh, Katie's area, so let's just run back and check the anagram thing. Where's this water coming from? <laughs> what is that smell? P.U. Well, it's fish. Let's see if we can talk to Katie about that, about those fish. Maybe I can use my handy-dandy anagram buster to figure out what those strange words on Hilda's gifts mean. Um, there's an auto buster on Junior Road, I believe. And you can just just magically go there, and Nancy will, uh, will will solve it on her own. I mean, if you go there, Ma Nancy Nancy will know its telephone number rather than uh, having to do the anagram buster for it. So, Katie, what's with the fish? What's up? See you in a bit. Have fun. How can we not talk to him about her? Talk to her about the fish. I tried geocaching once, and uh, it didn't work. I always got lost, and I couldn't work with my compass. It made me very sad. Well, if we can't confront her now, let's try confronting her later. Yeah, she's got a cooler to fill to the brim with war off fish. She's just letting it melt in the cool, just in the living quarters of her boat. Who made it? It's a Karen. I'm wearing 
comfortable shoes. Right it looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of walking. Whew. I feel like I've walked for miles. I feel like you have as well, Nancy. solve it until we look at that ship in a bottle that Nancy is just so fascinated by. I don't believe Nancy can go up at this point, but later on she'll go up at she'll go up from here. And then she'll have that long long left right puzzle. Cool. segment here. Wait, hold on a second. Elvis was here. Elvis? What was Elvis doing here? Elvis! Camping gear is the last thing I need right now. So this is how the culprits got around and went from place to place to rob all those places they just used the underground hidden sea caves. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Did you know that there's a trap door in the floor of your banquet room? A trap door? No. Where does it go? It drops down into a tunnel. And when I explored it, I found another trap door leading up into another shop. A tunnel? I don't know anything about it. It's probably how those burglars got in and out. Look, tunnels are dangerous. I don't want you going down there anymore. You don't mean that. I mean it. Just forget about this whole thing. Only if you call the sheriff and tell him about it. No! Okay, look. I guess if you're real careful, you can keep poking around down there. But I don't want you telling anybody else about that tunnel without coming to me first. I got my reasons. I've also got work to do. Wow, that's really suspicious. I wonder why she doesn't want you to talk about you the again? tunnels. You again? See you around. Watch out for Caddy. So Elvis was the one who was feeding the orca? Ah, it all makes sense I don't have time to talk right now. now. Sorry. That makes sense. So where was I going now? Let's see. Uh, over here, yeah. I've got the oil. I can fix the, uh, fix the, the phone number. And then I'll try confronting Katie. Yeah, do you know there's a trap door in your banquet room? <laughs> Uh, this was three, four, seven, five. Let me climb all the way up here. I'm gonna spray this down. Perfect. It looks exactly the same as it did before, but now it's beautiful, and we can put the light on. Ah, there we go. So now we're going to send, um, uh, send this phone number. Let me just look it up. Um, because I don't have the Morse code memorized. I'm just going to look this up just like I did. Yeah. Just like I did with the, um, Morse code puzzle in, uh, Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew is a Five, museum. Two, three, Secret of the Scarlet Hand, that's it. Five, 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 four, 
three, nine, nine. Yay, and send. Hello? Hello, Nancy. Hilda here. Hilda? Hilda Swenson? Easy, girl. It's not like you're talking to the Queen of England or anything. Although I did meet her once. Stuffy lot, those Windsors. How did you know my name? Where there's a will and a satellite internet connection, there's always a way. You just looked Nancy up online. What's the other secret you said you had? Patience. As in all good films, all will eventually be revealed. In the meantime, I've sent you an email. Read it, follow the instructions, and we'll do lunch. Delicious! That'd be great! No, no, no. It's just an expression, dear. No one in Hollywood ever really has lunch when they say they're going to do lunch. Oh. I'll be in touch. And rest assured, I'll be watching. Which reminds me. Someone's been up in the lighthouse. I couldn't see who. I hope they aren't doing any damage. They did leave kind of a mess. We really must put a stop to this, Nancy. Ciao! Yeah, too, uh, I mean, it's very lucky that she was there um, watching Nancy send that message. It would have been too bad if she was just in the kitchen getting a, a jellyfish sandwich because then she would have totally missed out on uh, Nancy's, Nancy's top secret code message. What do people in Hollywood say if they actually do want to go out for lunch, though? That is a good question. What if they want lunch? What's up? See you in a bit. I'll be right here. Confronting her about the fish doesn't seem to be a thing we can do. Pew. Oh well, let's check Nancy's email. <laughs> oh yeah, Hannah's complaining about Nancy's dad. Who is just driving her crazy. Okay, so Casey sent for this thing about royal flushes, I think, um, that it says that the hotel, I, the place used to be called the Royal Flush Cafe. And how did she know Nancy's name? All she did was see Nancy picking up bottles, right? She didn't actually... She didn't actually... <laughs> yeah, that was kind of weird. Anyway... Solution to this puzzle is 48. Forty-eight. Twenty-three. Four eight. Twenty-three. Really, that's not it. It's forty-eight something. So let's check this email again then. 4842. Meh. Whoops. 4842. 485. Then it's gonna be 1230875. Yay! Okay, so it's the buoy which is there in the middle. Let's see if we can find it. I think it was here, right? No, I'm way off. Off course. I need to go east. Those are rocks. I cannot go east. Okay, this is my current position. I'm trying to make that middle one. Got it. Found it. Woo! I don't know when it opens yet. Hello? 
Hello, Nancy. I commend your ability to take direction and to follow through. You're definitely a cut above. And for that, you've just been rewarded. Yay! What am I supposed to do with this thing? You're to take it with you. But for now, listen carefully. I hope you like poems. <clears throat> Below ground is a rock with a strange anvil look. When you're near it, behold what's above. Letters found at the beach will put a new spot in reach. Letters only a sailor could love. Oh, my apologies, dear. I'm many things, but I'm afraid I'm not much of a poet. Do you watch everyone in Snake Horse Harbor? Is that how you know something fishy is going on? I'm a very curious person. I like to know things. Let's just leave it at that. Ah, let's see, where was I? Ah, the device you just found. It'll come in handy when you get where you're going after you've gone where my poem takes you. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, no, please don't hang up. I've got so many questions. I'll try talking to Katie now. Uh, I don't think anything's What's changed. What's up? Yeah, See you in a bit. It. Have fun. Well, darn. I really wish we could talk to Katie about those fish. Somebody told me... You know, they're like, Michael, you're wrong. You can talk to Katie about those fish. Rawr. And I'm all like, really? Because I've tried. <laughs> Maybe I'm just, just doing it wrong somehow. Hilda knows Aquaman, and that's how she knows uh, all about Nancy. Aha, that makes sense. Yeah, when Nancy becomes uh, old, she's just going to be a crazy old lady who creates crazy puzzles for random teenagers to solve. That's what Nancy's going to do. Okay, so I'm pulling up the solution to this puzzle, which is in your inventory. Uh, we answered this in Holt's, Holt's thing. Like, what side is west? There's an opening up there. And what side is left, he said. So it's not this one. It's this one. Port starboard. So it's left, right, right, left, left, right, 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 right. It goes to another tunnel. So left, right, right. Then left, left. Right, right, right. That's three rights. Left, left, right, left, left. More coordinates. I should have known. So now we have to do that entire thing. Reverse. Right. Right. Left. I do like this music. Right, right. Left, left. Left. Then right. Uh-oh. I meant to turn there. And then that's the exit. We got to the exit. Hooray! I made it through alive. Haha! <laughs> So now we just need to, we need to go all the way back before Nancy can enter those coordinates. Lunch 
lunchbox. Oh, okay, so Hilda wanted us to find her lunchbox. Hilda? Uh-oh, I'm getting predictable. This really will be our last conversation. Oh, I hope not. I'd really like to meet you. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. So, here you are in the whole stretch. What if I told you that I'm not going to do anything else until you tell me why this is so important to you? Okay, look. When I made my exit from Snake Horse Harbor, I left everything behind. You know, to kind of prove that I'd lost all my marbles. Problem is, I left behind something that I realize now I should have taken with me. My notebook on Benjamin Hawkins. Someone has obviously found it and is misusing it. See, my husband and I explored every inch of land in, around, and under Snake Horse Harbor. What we discovered, and we discovered everything. We wrote down in that notebook. So this fishy thing that's going on, you feel like it's your fault. Precisely. So, use what I just gave you and take a look at the boat in the bottle that Andy has. A really good look. When the time comes, you'll know what to do with what you see. But something just doesn't make sense to me. Why do you want everyone to think you're crazy when you're obviously not? Oh, Nancy. After my husband died, I just got bored. I love the sand walks, but the people of Snake Horse Harbor, I got tired of them. So I moved across the channel, and to make sure people left me alone... You pretended to be nuts. But then I got to thinking that it might be a good idea to make contact with someone trustworthy, just in case. Hence the messages in the bottles. Now, get going before it's too late. And what I just told you, keep it to yourself, okay? Sure. So you won't be calling me anymore? No. This, as they say in the business, is a wrap. Well, I've enjoyed knowing you. And I you. Thank you, Nancy. Goodbye, Hilda. So Hilda was a fun character. I actually, I actually like her. She's kind of nice. Is this, yeah, that's where we go to Katie's boat. Cool. So we're going to Whale World. We're going to take a really close look. Yeah, she just, she fakes being crazy so she could get away from everyone, because everyone in town is just mean or nasty. Hi, Nancy. Someone broke into the hot kettle today. No kidding. Wow, that's the third one this week. Apparently all they took was food and boat parts. Sounds a lot like those two other burglaries. Thanks for your time. Whales rule! <laughs> Whales rule. All right. There are some kind of symbols on those sails. I'm gonna write these symbols down. Um, one is like a fancy trident. One is like this. I'm not good at drawing. And then one is uh, like this. It's a star. Those are obviously the symbols for that place in the in the lighthouse. And then that'll be it. That'll basically uh, I mean we're at we're at the end game challenge here. A trident to cross in a star. Yeah, that, that probably would be an easier way to remember it rather than me trying to draw pictures. So this was 3475, unless I'm mistaken. I don't know who keeps resetting this thing, but whoever does just really wants to, to, to make things hard on me. And I don't need to go around here, right? I've already opened this. Oh, I need to go inside. Really? Okay. I really do have to go inside and, and pull this lever again. Okay, pull the lever. It is kind of strange that Jenna has boat parts inside her pantry. Like, that's where food goes. That's where food goes, Jenna. Let's see, um, star? Okay, it's not gonna be that, so it's gonna be W, it's gonna be the trident. This one's gonna be the, the cross, and then this one's going to be... Uh, the cross. Okay.
Okay, let's try that again. Star, trident, and then cross. So this opens a machine. A very complicated machine. But it gives a hidden key. That goes to. So that's what Benjamin Hawkins built in the 1800s. He built a machine which somehow connects over here. A retractable wall in the sea caves. And that's how he's able to hide from those pirates. It's pretty amazing. So you can see why it's very important that Hilda... You know, the culprit found out about this information and was able to use it to sneak all over town. So obviously it's, it's, it's not a good situation. Okay, somebody's saying we can confront Katie if we see her, her shopping bags. Um, where are her shopping bags? I don't know, let's look here. Maybe the fish has changed. No, the fish look exactly the same. Mm, yeah. What's up? See you in a bit. I'll be right here. Yeah, I don't see anything extra here that I I, I could see. The shopping bags by Katie. Where are they? They're right next to her. Here? What's up? See you in a bit. I'll be right here. I don't know where those shopping What's up? bags that see you in a bit. About. I'll be right here. So I don't see any shopping bags near her, and there's nowhere I can zoom in on, which isn't her. Yeah. What's up? Ah. See you in a bit. I'll be right here. So apparently the shopping bag should be next to her, but they're just not. Okay, well, we tried everybody. We tried. We, we really did. Everybody's saying, okay, multiple people think there should be shopping bags here. I looked at the shopping bags in Jenna's area, uh, as we saw earlier, but I could try it again. Sworn I, yeah, I did go inside Katie's closet. Not Katie's closet, Jenna's closet. I looked here. Looks like they didn't take all her boat parts. They didn't? Oh my. How come you store boat parts in here? Gotta store them somewhere. I don't have a garage, I barely have a closet, and my boat breaks down a lot. Looks like you do a lot of shopping at Save King. I do all my shopping at Save King. Okay, so maybe that triggers Save King Grocery Bags by uh, Katie. Let's see. Now back to Katie's boat. I want to get this conversation. As you can see, it, it's a little hard to trigger this conversation. Very easy to mix. Okay, easy to miss. And now there are... I guess, yeah, now she's got groceries. Hey, what's going on? Sounds like you're making progress. I'm getting there. I remembered that a friend of mine had stashed some boat parts in my storage locker. Hmm. See you in a bit. Enjoy. But why can't I talk to her about Save King? Save Here we King. go. Oh, man. Are these boat parts? Did you steal them? Did you steal them, Katie? What's up? Jenna Devlin said some of the things that were stolen from her back room in that burglary were boat parts she'd bought at Save King. And... I noticed a box from Save King over there and just thought it was kind of an interesting coincidence. Everyone around here shops at Save King. For boat parts and practically everything else. Any other questions? And somehow that's the trigger for a fish conversation. Are you aware that there's a whole lot of fish going bad in your freezer? Of course I am. Whoever tore up my engine damaged my wiring, too. Refrigerator's out, freezer's out, TV's out. Oh, no. She has a TV? Why do you have so much fish? All right. I've been feeding the orca, okay? But I'm not the only one. I can't afford to feed her much, and there's not enough natural fish in the channel for her to exist on, yet she's doing fine. 
which means someone else is feeding her too. You know, this is not a good time for me to be trying to entertain a house guest. How about a rain check? No problem. I understand. As soon as I get this fixed, I'll take you to the mainland so you can catch a flight back to River Heights. I'm sorry, Nancy. Wow. Yeah, totally never saw that conversation before. Okay. Wow. I'm kind of busy here, if you don't mind. Katie sorry. is just being a total jerk now. Wow, that's amazing. So, thanks for helping me find that conversation, everyone. Katie's just, like, going to throw you out just because you got asked- you asked too many questions about that orca. Okay, let's check out this hidden area wow, I made. This must be where Benjamin Hawkins used to hide out. So now I can see the angry side of Katie and why everybody hates her so much. Oops. Oh my gosh! Wow! One's trained her. She's not wild at all. And Nancy's unconscious now after being hit on the head with a with a gas canister. Maybe she wants to play catch. This is so cute. I don't know if George if that's angry Katie, George might have over overemphasized and exaggerated. That piece her of temper. driftwood I found must have come from a container just like this one. So somebody used the orca to pull out this container from the bottom of the sea. Wow. Using the orca harness for maximum flexibility. Craziness. And this is the food they've been feeding. Firestone. This must belong to Katie. They've been feeding uh the orca with Atlantic herring, so that's how the Atlantic herring showed up in uh, places where it shouldn't be. So Hawkins hid out here with his family for days on end. How did they survive? Um, clearly they had food like hidden here. Probably not just these these frozen fish though. Bye bye. Yeah, I vote Orca for mayor. Orca, clearly best character of the game. And Katie's looking pretty suspicious now. Hello? Hi, Nance. We're bored silly here, so we thought we'd give you a call. What's going on? Great timing, you guys. You will not believe what I just discovered. What? Tell us. For one thing, that Orca that's been causing all the trouble around here, it's not wild at all. It's been trained. How do you know? Because I played fetch with it. I'd toss something into the water, and it would use its head to kind of bonk it back to me. Maybe it just picked that up on its own. No, see, I found this hidden sea cave, and in it was this harness-type thing like the military uses on the orcas that it trains. So what do you think it's been trained for? In the cave, there were also some cargo containers. They were from the Whitechapel Dawn. You think somebody trained the orca to retrieve containers from that shipwreck? Casey the Librarian did say the ship could have been smuggling something, and people don't usually bother smuggling something unless it's valuable. Who trained it? That's what I want to know. Well, in that hidden sea cave, I came across something else. What? A pair of work gloves. They had Katie's name on them. Oh my gosh. Katie's behind all this? Not necessarily. Those gloves may have been stolen from her. Have you asked her about them? Not yet. I'm on my way to do that right now. Well, get going and let us know what she says as soon as she says it. I will. Training orca is easier than sending down divers, I guess. Orcas can dive deeper than divers, maybe? I don't know. In any case, great timing, George. Hey, your friend just kicked me out, George, and she's sending me to the mainland because I exposed her for breaking the law and feeding the orca. The law, which, by the way, that she herself insists, insisted on bringing. I mean, she was the one working with the marine hatchery, whatevers, and oh my goodness. So yeah, your friend is awful, George. Have you tried asking uh, Katie herself? Oh no, she kicked me out. She really did kick me out. I don't need to call Bessie George again. I, I don't know. Do, should I call somebody to see if there's a conversation about me getting kicked out? You again? I need a favor. I need you to take me out on your boat. Right now? What for? Well, it's a long story. 
but Katie Firestone may or may not be involved in something illegal. I'm not taking my boat out now. It's almost dark. Just call the Coast Guard. I can't. Not until I know for sure what's going on. I can explain on the way. Look, I'm not going anywhere. And if you know what's good for you, neither are you. Just forget it. I heard everything you told Holt. Believe me, there's nothing I'd like better than to help you get the goods on Ms. High and Mighty. But I got a cafe to run. Try Andy Jason. All right. Okay, so people are voting no. Let's not call Nancy's friends and see if they have anything to say about us getting kicked out. Doesn't seem like there's a getting kicked out conversation. And people want a spin-off game with just Bess and George. That would be kind of that would be kind of amazing. I would like it. I would buy that game. Hi, Nancy. I was hoping you could help me. I was just about to close up shop, but what do you need? It turns out that Katie's been feeding the orca. You're kidding me. Yes. I'd really like to talk to her about that and some other stuff, but she and her boat are gone, although I have an idea where she went. And you'd like me to give you a ride? Just partway. I'd like to try to sneak up on her. Sneak up on her? Well, on whoever's out there. I'd be in my kayak. I've got all the equipment I need to be safe. Kayak? Are you nuts? It'll be dark in ten minutes. And what about the fog? I need you to take me out one and a half miles due northwest of the lighthouse. Please. This is really important. I can explain on the way. Oh, man. You've got me so curious there's no way I can say no. You just got yourself a boat ride. Be careful. I'll be waiting right here. That is kind of funny. It's like, I've got a business to run, so, uh, Nancy, go ask the other business owner. So Nancy get a free will whale tour uh, keychain for this this tour because she did go out in this boat and she did see a whale. I feel like she should get another keychain. Whale's making her final dive. Good. The launch just brought in the last of the stuff that was stored in the sea cave. Another hour, and we'll be out of here. If the crew sees me, I'm done for. Let's see, so you need to find good something? hiding spots. Otherwise, you'll be caught. Uh -oh. Hold it right there, Missy. Oh no. No! What, I just stare at them until they give me a game over sequence? Okay, yeah, game over sequence. What are you eating? Beef jerky. Liberated it from that camping supply place. Want some? Still can't believe you robbed those places. The boss was fit to be tied, especially after you hit that cafe. Having that tunnel with all those trap doors and nobody suspecting a thing? It was like being a kid with a key to the candy store. I couldn't help myself. That was some delicious, some those delicious like beef jerky. Okay, so the culprits are smuggling the animal first. It looks like the only place I can go is forward. Hey, no hide, snoozing. Hide Boss says this Nancy Drew person is a real troublemaker. Like she's gonna show up out here. I'm just telling you what the boss told me. Now keep your eyes open. Just doing what the boss says. What does the boss say? So I have to say, um... I can hide behind here. Where'd you put the notebook? Boss has it. Nice of Hilda Nutjob to leave it behind like that, huh? Couldn't have pulled this off of that, but that's for sure. I think I wait for them to walk away and then I can just run for it here. the orca I saw before. I can't call anyone now. Someone might hear me. Oh, come on. Use your phone, now. Nancy. Someone might hear me. And here it is. Here is Katie sitting in the chair being evil and nasty. Not really. Guess what? Katie is Katie? innocent. Oh my gosh. She was kidnapped. Nancy, I was afraid no one would ever find me. What happened? How did you get here? I fixed my boat and went right out to check on the whale. Only the fog was rolling in and it was getting dark. Then I finally saw her, only she was being fed by some men in an outboard. They were putting some sort of harness on her. When they saw me, they rammed my boat, then grabbed me, tied me up and brought me here. I don't know what's going on. I think I do. They're using the whale to bring up smuggled cargo from a shipwreck. 
Listen. Someone's coming. Hide. Hide. So, like, when did this all happen is my question. I don't know when exactly this happened because there wasn't a whole lot of time between Nancy uh -oh. being with the Say orca. Say goodnight, Nancy. Hi, Andy. There wasn't a whole lot of time between Nancy um, being with the orca and then Katie's boat disappearing. So Andy is secretly the culprit. Oh my gosh. Well, Katie, you'll be happy to know that your friend Nancy will be joining us any minute. Hey, how'd you get that gag off? Well, it appears she's already here. All right, where are you? Nancy? If I could make it back to my kayak, I could go get help. Yes, this begs the question of why did Andy even take you out here to the boat to begin with, if he's the culprit? I can't call him now. Oh, no! Someone might hear me. Say goodnight, Nancy. Oh no! Oh, that's just creepy. <laughs> Nancy's like, oh, you're all tied up? Well, I guess you wish you hadn't kicked me off of your boat now, Katie. So why did Andy bring Nancy here? The culprit foils their own plot. Somebody stop her! He says to the empty room. Oh no! I'm trapped! Oh no! Well, what do we have here? I knew it was you all along, and I told Holt and Jenna, if anything happens to me, they'll know you did it. Nice try, but I can smell a bluff a mile away. You're about to become the victim of an unfortunate kayaking accident, or maybe I'll tell my customers that the snake horse got you. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So we throw this in the water? What did you do that for? Say goodnight, Nancy. Nuts. Way to go, buddy! Dear Ned, I've got to hand it to Andy Jason. The plan he cooked up to recover smuggled animal furs was a darn good one. First, he got himself an orca that the Russians had trained for covert military operations. Then, he made it look like the whale was an orphan, so he could hide her in plain sight while she did his dirty work at night. Then, he and his henchmen disabled Katie's boat to keep her out of their way. They needed work gloves, so they stole hers. In fact, Andy's henchmen couldn't resist using the tunnel they'd found out about in Hilda's notebook to steal practically everything they could get their hands on. But now Andy and his buddies are in jail, Jenna is serving more clam chatter than ever, Katie is planning to vote for Holt after all, the orca is getting along great with a local pod and is rapidly losing interest in humans, and I'm back on the ferry headed home. See you soon, Nancy. P.S. Just before I left, I saw something appear, then quickly disappear in the channel by Katie's boat. She said it was just a log, but I'm pretty sure it was you-know-who saying goodbye. Yeah, Jenna's giving away more free clam chowder than ever. How does Jenna stay in business? How does she stay in business? And Katie's like, okay, well, he'll save my life. Fine, I can vote for him. So I have a puzzle master, because I'm great at solving puzzles. Hooray! Hey, fellow detective. Ever been to a ranch? I haven't, but I've been invited to one. It's in Arizona, and it's called Shadow Ranch, and I can't wait to go. You're invited, too, but I should probably warn you, it could be a little dangerous. Yeah, too bad Nancy didn't go straight to the Coast Guard. Would have saved herself a lot of time, but it's very nice. Oh no, Phantom Horse! It's very cool. It was very nice of Holt to change his mind and decide to save Nancy's life with the Coast Guard anyway. So that is it. Uh, that is it for Nancy Drew. Danger on Deception Island! I hope... I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. So Nancy just got back from vacation in this game. Next game, she's gonna have another vacation.